track both business and personal data in one QuickBooks file. This is a bit of a taboo subject for accountants and bookkeepers because the first thing you're going to hear when you say, I want to track financial data, when I want to start a new business, even if it's going to be a small one, will typically be, we'll get a separate bank account and make sure that that separate bank account has a separate accounting system, possibly, hopefully, a separate accounting software, separate QuickBooks file for the business. If you want a personal file, you can but make sure the business is separate. That's going to be the general rule. It's a good rule because, of course, our objective is to have the business separate from the personal. One way to do that is to say the separate bank accounts because that forces us uh, to record things in a separate bank account. However, it does take more work to do that as well. If we have a small business uh, and we have, then we have to break out the two separate bank accounts and make sure that we're recording things out of the proper bank account uh, that could take more more work in order for us to do that it is possible to have the one bank account that we then break out in one quickbooks file with the use of something like classes and be able to run reports such as profit and loss reports measuring performance uh, by class and breaking out in that way not on the cash level not on the bank statement level but on the quickbooks level that's where we would break out between the allocation for the performance reports, the timing accounts, the income statement accounts. This, of course, could save some time. It could be a little bit easier for us to track this information from one bank statement, put it into QuickBooks, and break it out in this format. We would also eliminate the need of having two separate QuickBooks files. And if we use QuickBooks Desktop, having two files doesn't cost anymore. But if we use other software, such as QuickBooks Online, if we want to track our personal data, then it could cost more to break out the personal data from the business data as well. We would need two separate files, two separate accounts possibly, and that could be more expensive to do so. Also, if we have two separate files and there's any intercompany transactions or transactions between the business and personal, then we've got to track those on both sides uh, of the items as well. So just review, just to note, it is possible to track personal data in QuickBooks. And it's probably advisable to do that. I would think that QuickBooks, there's other types of software that market themselves to be strictly personal and su supposedly easier. But I don't think that's the case. I think QuickBooks is as easy as any software, probably easier to use for either business or personal. The problem with personal data and tracking personal financial data uh, is inherent in the fact that it's personal data. In other words, when we think of financial statements, we think in terms of business and we think in terms of a business objective, revenue generation. When we think on the personal side of things, then we don't really understand what the objective is because when, when we think of financial data, we think of revenue generation as being the objective. And on the personal side, it's just to live well or whatever. So we, we're not justifying uh, certain things based on the revenue. So for example, if we went on vacation, we don't justify the vacation by how much revenue that vacation helped us to generate. No. We might want to see how much the vacation costs because we're measuring that against some kind of figure on how much, you know, well-being we got from the vacation, which is obviously not very easy to measure. But we can we can at least measure the cost of it and try to compare the cost versus, uh, you know, the benefit, which is some degree of happiness. So notice that that is going to be the objective on the personal side. That's what really makes it a little bit difficult to measure so we do want to track of course the financial information on the personal side but we have a different objective that's why we don't want to mix the two together however uh, if it would be simplified easier for us to have the one quickbooks file and track personal and business data be able to break that out in certain situations then there are mechanisms that could allow us to do that or track at least some personal items uh, another option could be to track some personal items that we're going to need at year end for tax preparation because, of course, many small businesses track their information in QuickBooks so that they can ha help with year end tax preparation. And it would be nice if we didn't have just the business information, but all the tax stuff that we're going to need to compile together. How can we track that kind of stuff in one file? So whether we're, we're doing our own books and we want to kind of think about how we might be able to do that or whether we're doing bookkeeping and we want to help our clients out and possibly add more value by knowing a little bit more about personal, how to track the personal finances, whether we use the same file or not, or if we want to use class tracking. How do we, how do we use class tracking? 
This is one way that we can apply the feature and the function of class tracking uh, within QuickBooks by breaking out between business and personal, but it has many different uses as well. Uh, then we can look into those types of features as well. We do have a course on this process. And if we go through the complete kind of concept of the course, then it gives us a really good idea of class tracking. It gives us a good idea of entering personal data, business data, what the objective is between business and personal as well. We'll actually enter uh, the transactions for one QuickBooks file and breaking it out using classes between business and personal versus the traditional method of having a separate bank account for business, separate for personal, and basically doing the financial statements with two separate QuickBooks files. And we'll go through that full process and then like compare the two together to see what happens. So to, if you learn in QuickBooks and you're doing bookkeeping or accounting, then you can get, you get a good idea of what it means to be recording data on a personal side, something that often you don't get to see as much, as well as the business side, as well as reconciling two separate accounts, which is similar to reconciling accounts if we had uh, a subsidiary company type of type of idea but now of course we're reconciling between the business and personal type of account and looking at uh, the concept of class tracking here's what the course looks like on the website there is a substantial amount of the course that is free so if you don't need a credit card any type of payment for the free portion it's basically a short course that you can uh, take a look at and if you go through here and take a look at the free components of it again it's basically a short course in and of itself that has the free components to it and then it would continue on for there it's a fairly comprehensive course going through these two concepts and then uh, recon reconciling everything else out we also have courses that are uh, geared towards just the personal side so if you are thinking about just recording the personal data again you don't see that too often and it's not the software. It's not that you're going to go through a personal software. You need personal software. Or you can't record personal financial data. It's the same concepts that are applied. And QuickBooks works great to, to uh, track personal data. So if you want to just see the personal data, we have information on just the personal data. Or if you want to have basically the business data and track some tax things, just some tax common tax type things such as uh, medical expenses possibly or education expenses possibly charitable deductions possibly and just track some of those things that you know you're going to need if your primary goal is tax tracking we have a course that has the kind of tips and tricks to just tack on a few personal things onto business software uh, so that you can track those things and just basically give the quickbooks file to the to possibly the tax preparer at the end of the year and hopefully that's all you need so again, take a look at the links below. We'll have a affiliate type link that uh, will give you a discount to one or a few of those courses. And, uh, and of course, part of the course will be free for the introduction to it so you can get an idea of it.